Welcome to the Blue Corner. My name is Dennis, and it's Sunday, so you know what that means. Another little update video. <laughs> Let's see. Again, six tiles in this week. Uh, seems to be the magical number, <laughs> but that is what it is. So yeah, six titles, eight movies combined. So let's just start off uh, from Germany. The low budget Mark the Kaskis movie of the update. I picked up Alien Agent. Uh, not a great movie, and not the worst low budget Mark Dacascus movie I've ever picked up. The, uh, aliens invading Earth, in invading human bodies, trying to take over the Earth. Yada yada yada. Mark Dacascus having to stop them. It was an okay little low budget. Mark the Cascos movie. Like I said, not the worst he's ever done. This Blu-ray, however, bad. It's not much better than a DVD. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have liked a better copy of this one, but as far as I know, Germany is the only one or the only country that has it out on Blu-ray. So I. It shouldn't surprise me at all being Germany, but it is what it is. It's in the Mark Dacascus collection. Next up, the first trilogy of the update, and the first one being the only 4K in the update. I picked up Knights of the Demon, or Knight of the Demons, rather. Angela's back. <laughs> this is one of those Scream Factory titles I've been having my eye on for quite some time. But way back when they released the Blu ray, I didn't have a region free player at all, so I couldn't play that one. And they released it, or when I got the read, or when I went region free, the slipcover was already sold out. So yeah, I never got it, and now they finally did one of the older releases in 4K. This is what they should be doing. They should go back to these old releases and do them in 4K before they do stuff they released a year ago. So, yeah, finally have Night of the Demons in the collection on 4K. And... Picking that one up, of course, I also picked up the second one, Angela's Back Again. Technically, I did have this one from 88 Films, but I, I wanted the collection from the same company. So since I was picking up the first one, I decided to get the Blu-ray too. Um, no 4K for this one. Uh, apparently... I'm, I'm assuming that the elements weren't in good enough condition for a 4K. This Blu-ray, however, does look quite good. So I do believe they could have done a little bit of magic and had this one out on 4K too. I, I, I still enjoy that. I, I might actually enjoy the second one a tad bit more than the first one. And since, of course, I picked up the first two, I also picked up the third one. This is the only one in the trilogy that, that was a first time watch. And. Oh boy. <laughs> why. Why is this, is it more often than not always the third one that tanks the franchise? Ah, oh, boy. Again, Angela's back. And this is a rather big step down in overall quality, if you ask me. This was not a good movie at all. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't far from it. So, yeah. And again, only Blu-ray. This one does look like 
one where okay the elements isn't good enough for 4k there so only blu-ray M maybe the bad quality or the m movie not being good could also play into it not having a 4k i don't know i haven't talked to scream factory about it <laughs> and next up from eureka i picked up from beijing with love a james bond knockoff and this is also a first time watch and i really enjoyed this one this was really funny it's not a spy heart level kind of spoof on james bond it's somewhere in between they, there's a few scenes in this one where you're gonna be laughing quite a bit if you're watching it but oh well i had a blast with this one fun james bond ripoff wannabe and stephen chow again i haven't seen too many stephen chow movies so i'm enjoying having the option now thanks to eureka and alternate artwork i <sighs> be honest what artwork do you prefer original or new commissioned artwork i i don't want to knock the artist i don't know the artist of this one but i don't like this lip cover one bit actually yeah it does give off james bond vibes but i i don't know i like this artwork better so <laughs> maybe that's just me but yeah highly recommended if you're in for a james bond ripoff spoof the uh, pick of the week for sure if you if you haven't already there is an unboxing video on my channel for this one go check that out that video needs more views because i am so happy to finally have this on physical uh, hd physical rather i do have the pusher trilogy like i said in that video the company that released them here in denmark don't care about physical media anymore so the fact that i have to go all the way to australia to get this danish trilogy on hd yeah it's a little out there but <laughs> i of course australia not being ioss register or the stores that sells physical media aren't ioss registered so of course i had to pay extra because it got caught in customs i gladly do that for this release though even though i hate giving the danish postal service money that they don't deserve but of course we do get first the first pusher second one mess mickelson and of course pusher three and i do like the quality of these blu-rays i don't expect to ever get a 4k release of these movie movies they are gritty like i said in the unboxing they are supposed to look like that in my mind so yeah finally have the pusher trilogy in my collection long overdue and now there's not many of my favorite danish movies that i don't have in hd in my collection there's still a couple missing but not many some i would rather have a different company do in better quality but that's besides the point pusher finally in the collection and with that that's my short update video of the week <sighs> thanks for watching until next time peace out